Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Marvel Contest of Champions. Well, I wanted to make a video uh, primarily about a specific um, gameplay uh, chapter. Um, and it's in it's Act 6, Chapter 2, Quest 3. Uh, but first, I, I went ahead and I purchased the... Um, the signature stone bundle, the five star one for thirty bucks. I I got a tech. It's a it's a five star tech. I, I want to see if I'm gonna get a uh, a warlock so I can awaken my warlock. And we have a chance of getting an awakening stone. So let's take a look at that. Uh, let's claim that real quick. All right, where is this bad boy? Okay, there it is. Five star tech crystal. Let's open that up. Go out. Come in. Go out. Come in. And we'll hopefully get somebody decent, not somebody that's junk like we did yesterday, like we got a plain OG Iron Man. So close. Oh, it passed me on the reel. All right. Well, I have a ghost. That just gives ghosts more sig, sig points. That's okay. It gives me more six-star shards. Not what I wanted. Oh, that was so close to Warlock. That's horrible. All right. So now we got these signature stones that they gave us. Where are those at? These special ones. There they are. Okay. So, we got five of them. I'm popping all five, and then we'll just put up what we get, because I just want to see, and I want to get to the the content for chat max six. Look at that. Okay, five plus two. So, that that's what we got in. What do we got so far? So, we got about halfway to a five-star right now. We got a four-star, and, oh, I need to get rid of all those premium hero crystals, and we are... Uh, we're about a quarter of the way to another six star. So, okay. All right. So let's show this off. Um, cause I want to, I want to address something specific. So if we look at the path I've gone on already and we look at this, uh, node buff that these, that, that is in place, it says when the, it's called Icarus. When the defender is struck by an attack or stunned by a parry, the attacker gains a fury buff, granting 10% attack rating for 10 seconds. If the attacker gains more than 8 fury buffs in this way or one of these fury buffs expires, the attacker is inflicted with a degeneration effect, dealing 100% of the defender's attack over 4 seconds. If the attacker lands a heavy attack, their fury buffs are removed with no penalty. Okay. So, so if you attack, you get a fury buff. You get eight, you get, if you get nine, number, once you get number nine, then you're going to start taking degen and you t start taking a lot of degen. If one of them expires, you're going to start taking G degen and a lot of it over four seconds. Um, uh, so it's a hundred percent of the defender's attack rating. So if I went after, uh, Captain Marvel, it's, it's. 100% of her attack rating over four seconds, which is, she's a 28,000, so it's a lot of damage. Um, and then if I use a heavy, I get rid of all the furies. So, so there is a, there is a very specific and easy way to get around this. And we're gonna, we're gonna go in and we're gonna show, show you. So, I have Angela. And Angela, so that degeneration is over time, which means that it is a damage over time debuff. Angela has battle focus, and right now Angela subtracts 26.5% per, uh, She of the, the time that that debuff is on for each buff she gets every time she hits. She's going to get a Fury. That's a buff. So, And then she has her own buffs as well that she puts on herself every time 
uh, she scores a critical depending on where her power bar is. So Angela will never take that D-Den damage because she will have so many buffs on her that it's going to turn off Im immediately, and then she'll start stacking up Furies. So let's see how this works. Let's get in here and go to it. Her damage just gets ridiculous. So I'm at 11, 15. See, it says D-Gen, but the D-Gen's not turning on at all. There we go, 24. Done. And she's still at almost 100% because she's been healing. So, I mean, she just ripped through her and was doing 24,000 some damage per basic hit. So let's do one more fight just to see, again, how that works. So I've got the synergy right now also between Nick Fury and Captain Marvel movie that increases the duration of all Furies. So her Furies actually at last longer because of this too. And she gets her own, after she gets a bar of power, she gets her own Furies as well. not doing anything. There we go. There's the big damage right there. Big damage. And no damage from Furies. So that's essentially going to be the rest of this. I mean, all of these, all of these champions, he's got it. The Hulk's got it. I mean, there's really only what, like two or three paths on here. Um, he's got it. They, they've all got this on there. So you could you could essentially go through this and wipe this out pretty easily. Now, the problem with um, the Omega Red here, he's got this enhanced special three, or a special one, which is unblockable, does more damage. Uh, he's got an enhanced special two, which again does more damage and um, is unblockable. That's unfortunate. Uh, his debuffs last 100% longer. So he, he does have a degen and debuff too, but that gets nixed by um, Angela's ability to, um, to get rid of debuffs over time. He's limber, so each time that a defender receives a stun debuff, they reduce. You can't, it's hard to stun him. The issue with him is his spores do damage and they're not damage over time so you have to stay away from him and make sure you don't get too many spores on and then he is a 71,000 so he does have a high attack rating and he's just going to do a lot of damage so so it it, it is easy to take damage from him um, and you just kind of have to avoid him but I just wanted to show that off it's pretty cool uh, wanted to show a couple of fights in this. Um, I'm probably going to be 100, trying to 100% this at some point. I'm trying to get uh, Thronebreaker right now, but but I think um, I think that that pretty much sums it up. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, I'll see everybody later.